Hi, Albert here with Magnus Cycle Center. Today we're going to take a look at the 2016 Kawasaki ZX6R 636 Ninja. And this is the ABS model in the uh, matte gray. Really great looking bike. These ZX6R 636 are just fantastic bikes. They really perform well. They look great. This is a beautiful color on this bike. Of course, an inline four cylinder engine, just like you'd expect. Dual overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, uh, fuel injected, liquid cooled, <clears throat> ram air. So, ram air, this is the ram air right up here. So, air gets pushed in there and actually pressurizes the air box. Got Showa inverted front forks, and this has got the Showa separate function big piston forks. So, if you'll notice, the top of these two fork legs. Are different so this one lets you adjust the spring preload and then this one adjusts the uh, dampening compression and rebound dampening and then this bike is equipped with ABS and so one of the ways you can tell if you look at one of these and you can not sure if it has ABS or not is if you look right here if it has these two lines coming down then you know it has ABS without looking at the front fender and looking for the kips because you can't tell anymore by the little triggers because they all have traction control so they all have the little sensors on the wheels but if uh, if you see these then you know it has ABS uh, four piston radially mounted Nissan calipers so you've got two pistons on this side, two pistons on the back. The radially mounted uh, four piston caliper squeezing from both sides. Pedal style rotors. This is a floating rotor. So you can see that this is two pieces with a little uh, rivet device kind of deal there that actually lets this caliper, this, ro this brake rotor, float a little bit. And then these, the holes and these cuts in the rotor allow for more surface area to dissipate heat. See your flush mount, clear turn signal lenses. Of course, you've got the Nissan radial master cylinders. So what do we mean when we say a radial master cylinder? What that means is a lot of times when you look at uh, most motorcycles, when you pull this lever this way, you're actually moving a piston this way on most bikes. On this bike, the piston is actually moving this way and the lever is moving this way. So you're getting a little better leverage on that piston and so it's, uh, it's radial as opposed to axial. All right, uh, projector headlights, halogen projectors on the front. Uh, it does have power modes on these, so you can select full power or low power. This bike's not serviced, so unfortunately I won't be able to turn the uh, dash on for you, but we can take a look at the dash. It has a analog tachometer. Red line is at 16,000 RPMs. And then a digital display here, and then you've got neutral light, turn signal indicator, high beam. It's got a fuel warning light. There's no fuel gauge, but there is a gear position indicator on these. And on this side is your start button and the kill button. The button here lets you adjust between traction control and power modes, high beam and low beam, turn signals, and your horn. And then you do have a pass light here, and the pass light flashes the high beam there. These do require premium fuel, so 90 plus octane fuel two-piece seat. It's got this really nice embossed Ninja logo there on the seat. Of course these are a six-speed transmission. Uh, these are also a cassette type transmission. So what does that mean? What is a cassette type transmission? A cassette type transmission means that uh, a lot of bikes that are on the market in order to access the transmission gears and shift forks and things you've actually got to disassemble the engine and split the engine cases to get to those. This bike has a cassette type transmission which means if you remove this clutch cover and remove the clutch there's actually a plate in there and if you take the bolts out of that plate then uh, the transmission will actually pull right off the side of the bike. You don't even have to remove the motor from the frame. Uh, where most bikes, a transmission job is about as deep a teardown as you could possibly do on one of these. But these have a cassette type transmission. Really a nice feature. I'm kind of motorcycle nerdy, so I really dig that. Not that you'll probably ever have to do that. And it's still a, a, a two or three hour job, probably the time you take one of these out and put it back together, at least. But uh, it's much easier than having a two day job where you've got to totally disassemble a motor. But it's aluminum swing arm, aluminum chassis, 17-inch wheels, got Bridgestone tires. Just really a fantastic bike. You know, a 600cc bike, <coughs> excuse me, is not a slow bike by any stretch of the imagination. These are very high-performance bikes. Uh, I have a 600cc bike that I do track days with, a ZX6R, and uh, it is more than fast enough for me 
from my skill set. Some of you guys probably uh, can handle more, but uh, and I have a, a, a faster bike, but uh, really you don't need much more than this. This is really a lot of motorcycle and really not a beginner bike by any stretch of the imagination. A very high performance uh, middleweight super sport motorcycle. All right, well that's a look at the 2016 Kawasaki ZX6R 636 Ninja with ABS in the matte gray. All right, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969, and we would just love it. If you'd give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.